In the United States, dental school and dental hygiene school are not the same thing. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, let's talk about the differences between dental hygiene school and dental school, including the prerequisite classes, the school applications, and the programs themselves. The first thing that is important to note is that each school and each program, whether it's dental school or dental hygiene school, can and will probably have slightly different application requirements. If you remember in high school, even within regular college applications, the personal statement, for example, can vary from school to school, right? It's not like a one size fits all. So when we're talking about applications and prerequisites, the intention of this video is to compare the differences between dental school and dental hygiene school, not to give you exact application advice. Please know that you need to research each individual school's requirements that you plan to apply to before applying. So having said that, let's start with dental hygiene school. Most associate degree dental hygiene schools require certain prerequisite college courses, gen eds and stuff, such as like English, you know, regular gen ed, college level courses, as well as specific science courses, such as biology, anatomy, chemistry, microbiology even. Again, each program will list the exact courses they require, which will vary from state to state and program to program, but it's safe to say that you'll be taking a good amount of science courses. And lots of science courses require math prerequisites, so keep that in mind when you're looking at the requirements. Just because you see five classes listed doesn't mean it's only five classes. Those five classes might have prerequisites it's to take before you take those five classes also. Does that make sense? Like say you have to take microbiology. You can't take microbiology till you take biology. You can't take biology till you take a certain math class. You can't take that math class till you take another math class. You know what I mean? Sometimes that happens. Anyway, to apply to a dental hygiene program, you will need good grades in the required prerequisites. Dental hygiene school is competitive and generally they will require an entrance exam test. Now, when I applied to dental hygiene school five years ago, wait, more than five years, I graduated five years ago, so seven years ago. My school required me to take an exam specific to the school and to do well on that exam, but I do know entrance exams have changed since then, where lots of schools are using the same structured test now. But regardless, before you do anything, the first step is to visit the school's admissions page on their website, and it should clearly list everything you need to do for their application. And if it doesn't, call the admissions to request more information. But for me, all I was required to do was to to send in my transcripts with my prerequisite courses and my entrance exam score. However, there are some schools that may require more than that, such as a personal statement or an interview. And some may even ask for work experience in the dental field. Although rare, I've heard of a few dental hygiene programs asking that on their application. But again, it varies from state to state and program to program. Also, if you're someone who is interested in the dental hygiene bachelor's degree, again, every program is different. So make sure you obtain admissions advice from each school you plan on applying to. Now for dental school, applications, it's a lot more involved, obviously, because you're planning on becoming a doctor of dentistry. You'll need at minimum a four-year bachelor's degree prior to starting dental school. Most dental schools will require both general and organic chemistry, lots of biology, physics, math, and some even require specific statistics courses, maybe even psychology. Again, same with dental hygiene school applications. Course requirements can vary from school to school. I know I keep repeating that, I'm sorry. It's just so important. I also recommend if your undergrad school has a pre-dental club, you should definitely join because they will help you a lot with dental school application information. All dental schools require an admissions exam called the DAT or the DAT and most dental schools will also require a personal statement and for you to list your volunteering hours, shadowing or observing hours, and even extracurricular activities. They want well-rounded candidates with good grades. Dental school is super competitive and they also take their interviews super seriously. I heard about someone, this is like gossip but not really, it's to help you. As someone lied and said they play guitar to help with their manual dexterity look like super good at manual dexterity, I play guitar. And during their dental school interview, the person interviewing them pulled out a guitar and asked them to play. The guy couldn't play, he just listed it on his application, but he was lying and he got caught. So please make sure you don't lie about having additional extracurriculars just to make yourself look good because lying will always hurt you in the end. Hashtag life lessons. So yeah, getting into dental school and getting into dental hygiene school are both competitive in their own ways. To become a dentist, it takes eight years total, four years of undergrad of your bachelor's degree and four years of dental school itself. As 
as for becoming a dental hygienist, you have the option to get your associate's degree or your bachelor's degree. I have a video all about the differences between the two degrees if you want to learn more. But for this video, just know that the bachelor's will take four years and the associates, although generally a two-year program, can take in total anywhere between three and four years because of the prerequisite courses required prior to applying to the two-year program. I also have a video all about the differences between working as a dentist and working as a dental hygienist once you graduate, non-school related, this is all like the career itself. I will link those videos below as well if you're interested. And again, just remember, to be the best candidate for dental school and or dental hygiene school, make sure you study hard and truly want it. If you truly want it, I believe you can get it by working hard and believing in yourself. If you need a tutor, get a tutor. If you need an extra year to retake the physics classes that you got to see in, take that extra year to improve your grades. I'm sending you all the positive toothy vibes your way and channeling the Ariana Grande Seven Rings song to you. I want it. I got it. Go get it. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And please comment below if you have any other words of wisdom for dental or dental hygiene school applications. If you want more teeth talk, visit my website teethtalkgirl.com. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth.